Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of my LEGO train automation project. As you can see I've made a lot of progress this uh, last few weeks and I've now installed all six controllers for these stations and also the controllers for the crossings. So we're going to do a test run in this video but before we get to that I want to explain something about the crossings as you see here. Um, this is a normal typical crossing. Um, you have the crossing, you have an uh, isolated track segment for if the train needs to be stopped. Um, but the problem is that in this layout trains can run within 5 to 10 seconds of each other. So when you stop one train, the chances are big that another train will make a head to tail collision. And that's why I installed a second isolated track segment. So now two trains can stop for just one crossing. So if there's a train stopping on the first track segment, this sensor here will detect it and it will shut down the second segment as well. So if there's another train coming up, it will be stopped on that position. Well, the same goes for this crossing here. It also two isolated track segments. But the problem is with this crossing here. For this crossing was not enough space to make two isolated track segments. As you can see, this is the crossing and here is already a station. So that's a bit of a problem. So here we cannot create that traffic jam that I was talking about. But we can make a, a bit of a different approach. And that is, what if this controller sends a signal when the isolated track segment is stopped and there's a train waiting because these sensors that you see here will detect that we can send a signal to the controller of the station that says you cannot start a train because the track is already occupied and next to that you can say also say that it needs to if this track here is not occupied it needs to park the next upcoming train and that way we have a bit more capacity to stop trains but that that isn't implemented yet so um, that's something i need to do i want to make sure first that the whole system works and i don't know maybe it isn't even necessary i don't know wishful thinking but we'll see so enough about with the blah blah now we're gonna start the system and um, by doing so you'll see that the stations will make a bit of noise they're all setting their switches to the straight position and next to that they'll will start the trains and the trains will start riding and what happens after that i don't know so let's see oh yeah i tested the system completely so there are no um, input output uh, problems uh, the train track is also uh, balanced with power so there are in total six regulators that uh, power the rails so that all, all these kinds of things I've already taken out, it's just, um, I think, software and positions of sensors and, and such that can cause trouble. So let's enable the power. That's the sound and now you'll see that trains will, oh, we've already a problem. <laughs> oh God, what happens here? Ah, it has derailed already. That's one, and I don't know what his problem is. Seems like there's no power here. Yes, here we go. So there is, there are two trains parked over there. This one continues because the track is occupied. Whoa, that was just close on. <laughs> I hope the system works. Oh crap, no. <laughs> well, as you can see, I need some uh, adjustments to make sure the whole system works. But you get the idea. Oh, there's another one coming up. Let's wait for that. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> well, as you can see, all trains have crashed now. <laughs> so the system needs a bit of a modification. The problem that you see here on this train, I can tell you right away. 
is the fact that the switch wasn't turned on in time. So the locomotive was already on the uh, straight ahead track and then the switch was flipped and now the uh, second half of the locomotive wanted to go to the side track. So that's uh, easy, easy done by moving that sensor over there a bit to the right so it has a bit more time to switch the whole thing. And the problem here was that this train crashed. I believe if I look at it like this, it's the same thing. Also, the locomotive wanted to go straight ahead or the other way around. It wanted to go to the side track and not straight ahead, something like that, and then you get something like that. And um, then these two trains collapsed onto each other. Well, enough work, I guess. So, um, I hope to see you next time. I'm going to do a, sort of a lot of work, uh, make it all work, and we're going to do a second test run next video. See you then. Bye.